Hi. All right. I'm waiting for my friend this time who just came from Paris. Uh, but she lives also here as well as in Paris, but most of her time here. So uh, she just arrived back two days ago or three days ago. And uh, tonight she's coming just casually here. We're going to just have a catch up because I haven't seen her again for a few months. The last time was when we had lunch with our mutual American girlfriend at the restaurant, French restaurant, I think it was. That was, I think, in November, if I'm not mistaken. So now she just got back and then uh, I'm looking forward to seeing her. Also, you know, it's so funny. You know, I have to talk about uh, synchronicity or uh, divine intervention from now on I really do have to share with you because there are a lot for me to I hope inspire or at least enlighten you when you don't do things uh, forcefully okay so for example I have been here for one and a half years well you know the yeah the time i arrived uh, back from milan was december 2017 exactly two days after after new year uh, christmas so now we are in May, march so okay one year three months and of course all those vitamins and minerals that i brought from milan which my body is so accustomed to because they are uh, what you call they are much more uh, medicinal type not ke chemical it's in the, the in the in the pharmacy or drugstore near my house but they're all let's say homemade so i'm so accustomed to that why because when i was here in 2012 until 2014 Yes, I ran out of those vitamins and my husband at the time was in the Emirates. Of course, I couldn't ask him to bring for me when he uh, came here because he came directly. Oh, yeah, he came directly from Milan. But anyway, it was too long to wait. So I tried the American ones and I couldn't because they're big like this, big like this, and I couldn't swallow. And I don't know, yes, they say there is herbal and all that, but I don't know, I'm not so keen on them 100%. So anyway, back to my synchronicity story. So um, I was thinking, oh my God, my vitamins will run out soon. And I don't know how I'm going to continue on with the same vitamins and minerals. And my Italian girlfriend, who was supposed to come for a visit last December, it kept on postponed. It kept on being postponed all the time, I think, because of personal reason. She has to take care of two men. <laughs> That's the problem in, in Italy and in France. So I understand her. She has her hands full, even though they did call me on Skype. And the boyfriend said, no, 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 she can go by herself, you know, because what am I going to do with the two women, you know? So, no, no, no. So I thought she was ready already to come around 10th of February, and she didn't come until now. So anyway, but we're in touch continuously through WhatsApp. So suddenly, you know, I came to to mind that hey you know my girlfriend is in Paris even though she also travels a lot and she was actually skiing on the on the uh, one of those uh, French uh, uh, Alps uh, so um, place so uh, I told her I what's up her I said look listen you know can my friend from Milan sent you, you know, the vitamins from Milan to you in Paris. And she said, of course, you know, even though she said she's, uh, she's uh, not in Paris right now, but she'll be in Paris between the 21st and the 1st, just make sure to have them arrive within that week because I'm leaving for Jakarta after that. 
So that was it. So I told my friend and my friends, sure, of course I can do that for you. But it's even better, she said, since my friend also has two apartments in Nice, in Côte d'Azur, uh, because one is her hus ex-husband's, but still, you know, having this relationship as husband and wife, not physically, but more on um, what you call uh, uh, cooperation in terms of sometimes health, sometimes uh, 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 bureaucracy, sometimes, you know, uh, uh, taking care of his apartment when he travels. So she said, look, I'm going to Nice. I'm going to send them from Nice. How about that? I said, oh, that's even better. <laughs> because Nice, after all, is in France. So that was it. She sent them to my friend in Paris. And now my Paris, my friend, who's uh, coming tonight is the same lady who is bringing my vitamins and mineral, just like that, you know? It's just so beautiful, the synchronicity in that effortless manner. You can s sort out a situation without worrying. And it's very true when, 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 you know, there's a saying goes that, look, don't worry, just don't worry too much. Everything will sort out by itself. And of course, you have to make an effort, but not in that obsessed manner where you get so anx anxious and worried and just, you know, uh, uh, wrecking your head with, oh my God, how am I going to do this? How just take it one day at a time. You think... You come up with a solution, but in that effortlessly manner. The key word is effortless. Of course, you use your brain, you use your intelligence, you use your common sense. That's very important. Common sense is very important. And of course, your wisdom, you know, be wise. And like Jordan B. Peterson says, sometimes, you know, not sometimes, most of the times for us, the human beings, we want everything now. In other words, we want the enjoyment, that sense of fulfillment now, without wanting to sacrifice a little bit more, just a little bit more, and then you will be rewarded an even bigger solution or an even bigger fantastic outcome. And that's been happening all the time. It's to me so far, without my making any schemes or plannings or, you know, my goal, I have to get that goal, I have to reach that goal. I don't have that kind of ambitious approach to what I want because so continue on yeah so it will sort itself out just like that there are so many 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 divine interventions or how to say uh, you know things materialize, materialize themselves without you trying to steer things into what maybe once you wished you would have or it would happen to you, you know? I would share in my future uh, vlogs all these stories that are so mind-boggling but at the same time delightful and so marvelous and so wonderful. So, so this is the story of my... Uh, uh, synchronicity and how things just fall together when I was thinking three four months ago you know a little bit worried oh my god how am I gonna get my vitamins and mineral from Milan because I was counting on my girlfriend to arrive in December for New Year's Eve she said but she didn't come okay it could still wait she didn't come okay it could wait another month she she didn't come. And now my vitamins, I think, are still there for another 
two weeks, perhaps. Then it's finished. But then I have them already here now. Tonight, my girlfriend brings from Paris. It's beautiful, you know. It's just beautiful. The things that, you know, uh, materialize by itself, by themselves, by themselves, without you having to always wreck your brain. Okay, on Friday, tomorrow is Friday. This is actually my vlog that was supposed to be posted yesterday. I'm sorry because I thought I was going out yesterday, but then it rained and uh, it was canceled. So, um, you know, I didn't feel like making a vlog yesterday. So this is my uh, delayed, belated vlog from yesterday. And then tomorrow I'll make another vlog Friday. And I think I'm going to... Uh, go into the direction of divine interventions and synchronicity and the universe, things like that. Not that I'm a teacher, all right? I'm just sharing you the stories that I have experienced myself. That's all I could share with you. Okay, you take care. I'll see you tomorrow. And uh, okay, have a nice Thursday, even though this is a Wednesday vlog. Ciao, ciao.